Hello everyone. My name is Saurabh Deshmukh, working as an assistant professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In this video, we are going to learn how to perform the thermal analysis using ANSYS workbench. The learning outcome. At the end of this session, the learner will able to perform the steady state thermal analysis using ANSYS workbench. So we are going to solve this problem. There are three walls. The first wall, the length is 10 mm. The second wall is of length 5 mm and the, the third wall is of the length 10 mm. The temperature is given here, the T1 it is 200 degrees Celsius and T4 it is 20 degrees Celsius. They are also given the areas A1, A2 and A3 equals to 1 mm square. Ka and Kc that is the thermal conductivity is, it, it is 80 into 10 to minus 3 watt per mm degree Celsius and the Kb it is 1 into 10 to minus 3 watt per mm degree Celsius. So we will solve this problem in the workbench. So we are going to solve the steady state thermal analysis. So we will select the steady state thermal analysis model here. So first of all, we will go to the engine data to create the materials. Generate the materials here. The first material is made up of the brick. So we will give the brick here, the name brick. So now we need to assign the properties, the thermal properties. So we'll drop down the thermal here and the isotropic thermal conductivity. Here the unit is watt per meter per degree Celsius. So our given values are in the watt per mm per degree Celsius. So it is 80 into 10 to minus 3. So uh, we convert it to the watt per meter per degree Celsius. So it will be 80. Okay. Now the second uh, wall is made up of the insulator. So we will give the thermal conductivity here. It is 1. So we have generated the uh, required materials. Now we need to create the geometry or the model. So for that purpose we will open the geometry here. We will draw that particular model in XY plane. So click on XY plane, go to the sketching. We will draw it as a triangle. Okay, They have given the cross sectional area. They have not defined the uh, actual cross section of which type it is. So we will take it as a rectangle. We also change first we will need to change the units here. Go to the unit and select is at the mm. Okay. So we will draw a rectangle here. Of area 1 mm square. So we will give the dimensions here 1 mm by 1 mm the length and width now we need to extrude it by the 10 mm length okay so we'll extrude it length 10 mm and generate it now we need to change the plane to draw the second wall here. So I will change the plane here, create the plane, so new plane, now change it type from the plane to the from the face, select this face. and apply and we need to generate that plane so we generated the plane 4 here now we will draw our new wall in this plane or another wall in this plane so go to the sketching again go to the rectangle again we need to give the dimensions 1 by 1 mm so length and width
and again extrude it now we need to give the length as a 5 mm so change here 5 and also for the operation for the add material instead of that you should choose the add frozen so that we can uh, assign the various materials to that different parts okay so choose add frozen and then generate it okay now we need to uh, model the third wall here for that again we need to generate here new plane okay so we'll generate a plane new plane here again from plane instead of that take it as a from face S select this face and apply and generate it again go to the sketching select rectangle draw rectangle here give the dimensions and again we need to extrude it apply again change the add material to the add frozen and the length of the third wall is again 10 mm and generate it so we have created the model here now we need to apply the boundary conditions just minimize this and go to the model so this particular workbench window we use this window for applying the boundary conditions and to carry out the analysis now first of all we need to assign the material for each wall here so just drop down the geometry select first uh, solid here now we need to assign here the material properties of the brick so for that go to the assignment here for the model assignment structural steel it is so just change it to the brick and also for the third solid that is the third wall it is also the brick so change it to the brick and for the second wall it is insulator so select the insulator here now we have assigned the materials here so now we need to apply the boundary condition that is the temperature okay so the temperature for this particular wall it is 200 degrees celsius and for this wall it is 20 degrees celsius so before that we need to generate the mesh so click here right click here and either click on the update or generate mesh so mesh this particular model now we need to apply the boundary condition that is the temperature okay so click on the steady state thermal here now we need to apply the temperature okay. go to the environment now we need to apply the temperature here click on the temperature select this particular face we have selected this particular face and click here apply and we now need to give the magnitude of that particular uh, temperature at that particular face that is 200 degrees celsius okay now we need to again uh, apply the temperature to the surface we need to apply 20 degrees celsius to this particular surface okay so select the face apply and apply here 20 degrees celsius as the temperature so these are only two boundary conditions here so we have applied the temperatures now we need to find the temperature and the total heat flux so we have selected the temperature and total heat flux to calculate the particular that these particular values now we need to solve this particular analysis so click on the solve So this is our particular model. You 
you can see the color band of the temperature uh, as the temperature varies okay so maximum temperature is 200 degrees celsius and minimum temperature is 20 degrees celsius and the total heat flux it is 34285 watt per meter square and the temperature is in degree celsius that is maximum temperature is 200 degree celsius and minimum temperature is 20 degree celsius in between you can see the color band of the temperatures these are the references thank you